When I say industrial robotics, what kind of robots you will think of? You probably think of those kind of robotic arms, which repeatedly moving things around. They are doing the thing they are told. In my opinion, that's ro industrial robotics 1.0. Now it's a kind of a, a, a emerging trend. Industrial robotics 2.0, which is a robot robotics that can understand its environment and know how to adjust its behavior. That's more one step closer to artificial intelligence because as human, human is、uh, intelligent, intelligent agent, and we know how to adjust our behavior according to the environment, the situations. But most of the industrial robots couldn't. That's why we still have a lot of room to improve, and a lot of a lot of some companies are working on this. Maybe we will see industrial robotics 2.0 quite soon. Today I'm going to talk about a company called Path Robotics. It's a company they doing robotic welding. Robotic welding. You know, welding is a very hard task to do. It require a lot of skills. Even for human, it's not an easy task. Only very few people can really do that. You need to learn the master those skills, like a lot of training process. So,、uh, welding robotics definitely it's pretty hard. So, how can we achieve this technology? The robots they can improve its behavior. You can adjust its parts according to the environment. There's a technique called reinforcement learning. Which is mainly used for robotics.、Uh, there's a lot of research going on around this line, but a lot of them haven't been applied to really commercial robotics. Most of robotic arms are just the program, pre-programmed. They couldn't really change their behavior. And these past robotics, I believe, they are heavily employed, employed reinforcement learning, and that's their goal. They they want to. Then the industrial、uh, like use these kind of robots to do most of things, a lot of things at least. And the robotic welding is really hard. It's really hard problem to solve.、Uh, welding is just a too super hard. If they can do welding, I believe they can do many other things. The human, the humans can. And now they are saying this will be the future of manufacturing,、uh, which is. One on one hand is good, on one another hand is a little bit like maybe terrifying because if robot ro robots can do this kind of manufacturing, you can imagine what else a, a lot of other tasks they will probably be able to do as well. So、uh, now in the U.S. there's a shortage in the welding workforce. In the welding workforce, and they they claim there will be even more in the next two decades. So. Uh, this kind of robotics welding robots,、uh, it's important. I guess it will be increasingly important、uh, in a lot of countries. They have reduced population because maybe two decades, two decades, decades in, in the future, they won't have that many workforce. So robotics will be important things to support, support to increase humans, the whole civilization's product productivity at least. Maintain that, I, and I believe they will increase drastically, so humans can do other things. Yes,、yeah, so that's the path robotics doing certainly very very difficult task. Definitely,、uh, I wish they can succeed, and they just raise they just raise the their Series B fifty fifty six billion dollars. So that, that's uh still. Not a really big am amount of money. If if you are saying in terms of like a robotics welding, I believe they will raise more money before they can really make profit. This is a long term investment. This is a hardcore startup. It's not like software they usually can have a profit even early on. But this is kind of hardware, hard tech. It's really hard. They need a lot of capital. All right. So if you would like to receive more robotics AI startups technology reviews. Like this, don't forget to subscribe your subscription. It's really my best encouragement to make more videos like these. Other than that, enjoy your coffee. I will see you next time.